In this video, let's learn about a model that has sold well in China, Europe, Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and South America. Huawei Nova 5 slash Nova 5 Pro. These two models used to rely on the three selling points of photography, endurance and 91% screen share, and once became Huawei's top selling models. Once a popular model. Today's maintenance favorite. At present, the shipment of Huawei Nova 5 slash Nova 5 Pro screens at home and abroad are relative large. They are also our popular foreign trade order models. About these two models. What screen types are circulating on the market? Original screen, OLED screen and DFD screen. First take a look at original screen. The original screens are produced by Samsung. With 6.39 inch slash full HD slash COF scheme. OLED water drop screen. Using COF scheme can reduce the chin width. Increase the window. However, due to the higher process cost of COF scheme. Especially for an OLED screen. Therefore, COF scheme. Is mostly used for models above medium and high grades. It has been nearly three years since the two models of Nova 5 slash Nova 5 Pro came into the market. There are few brand new original screens in the market currently because Huawei's control over its product supply chain is more strict and standardized. A few years ago, the United States started from the supply chain and imposed sanctions against Huawei, resulting in the shortage of some Huawei suppliers, which had a great impact on Huawei. After that, with the support of the government and all parties, Huawei continued to optimize its supply chain and fully prevented and controlled supply chain risks, which made it survive from the blockade and pressure of the United States. So, the security of Huawei's product supply chain is very high. For the screen, the gray channels that used to circulate it have been basically eliminated, even if there is one. No one dares to touch it. What about refurbished screen? The number of refurbished screen on the market is sufficient. The display effect and stability of Samsung OLED screen are pretty good, with a certain recycling value and a good recycling market. Therefore, the recycling market of Samsung screens has been good in recent years. In addition, the sales of these two models are also okay. So the recycling quantity of original refurbished screens on the market is relatively sufficient. But when you purchase the refurbished screen, Pay attention to the screen aging problems, and whether the screen has removed the major cable. The screens that had been removed major cable. There may be problems with quality and stability. Next look at the OEM screen. The quantity of OEM screen is relative sufficient, and cheaper than the refurbished screen. But the quality is relatively messy. Some people even sell the OEM screen as refurbished one. Although customers want the original screen. Most people actually sell the OEM screen. The material sources of OEM and refurbished screen are the original old screen recycled from market. Among the recycled old screen, those only the outer cover plate is broken or only the connector is damaged. These kind of screens with good quality and appearance will become refurbished screens after renovation. And the quality stability of the refurbished screens are relatively good. Those screens with poor quality, such as abnormal display, broken cables, screens cannot display become the OEM screen after renovation. The refurbished OEM screen is equivalent to an overhauled car. And there have been done many refurbishment work. So there may be some potential functional hazards. Let's look at the OLED screen. There are three major OLED glass circulating in the market currently. Edo, Tianma, K&D. This OLED screen made by Tianma's glass is 6.36 inch slash full HD slash COF scheme. With small chin and small water drop screen, its windows are almost one to one with the original ones. From the display effect and hardware parameters, this OLED screen made by Yanma's glass is the closest to original screen. Among these three OLED screen, pay attention. Due to this OLED screen made by Yanma's glass is close to the original screen. Some people sell it to customers as OEM screen. So we should pay high attention to screening. Next look at Edo. This OLED screen made by Edo's Glass is 6.36 inch slash full HD slash COF scheme with small chin and large water drop screen. Its chin is close to the original, but the window is smaller than the original. In general, this OLED screen made by Edo's Glass is also a OLED screen with good cost effective. But this OLED screen made by Edo's Glass are out of stock this year. Finally look at K&D. This OLED screen made by K&D's Glass is 6.33 inch slash full HD slash cog scheme 
compared with the original 6.39-inch Nova 5 screen. This screen size is smaller. It's chin and window. There are obvious differences with the original screen. But the price is also the cheapest of the three OLED screens. In addition, this OLED screen made by K&D's Glass. As a OLED glass with large market volume. It is not only used on Nova 5 slash Nova 5 Pro, but also widely used on Samsung A20, A30, A50, A51, etc. When we are purchasing goods, how to distinguish the OLED screen among various brands? That's easy. Due to the Ando 6.36 inch OLED glass are few in the market, so it's unlikely to get a screen made of Edo OLED glass. The remaining OLED screens are produced by Dianma and K and Glass. The OLED screens that have the same window as original screen are Dianma's glass. Those have a smaller window with large water drop screen are K and D's glass. How about the touch ID of OLED screen? Obviously, I believe everyone has encountered after sales complaints about screen fingerprint problems. There are several possibilities that affect the screen fingerprint unlocking. First, the light transmittance of OLED glass. The better the transmittance of the OLED glass, the higher success rate of fingerprint input, and the faster unlocking speed. Second, scheme information. The software information needs to match the light transmission of OLED glass. If the fingerprint function cannot be used, there may be a problem with the software information of this scheme. Third, production technology. The lamination process and ochlamination thickness during the screen production process also have a probability to affect the fingerprint unlocking function. In terms of light transmittance, the light transmittance of this OLED screen made by Tianma's glass is higher than Edo and K&D. So, Tianma's fingerprint unlocking success rate will be relatively higher. In a word, there is no screen whose fingerprint unlocking is really comparable to the original one. It can only say that OLED screen realizes the function of fingerprint unlocking. Finally, take a look at the in-cell screen. The in-cell screens that circulating in the market currently. There are BOE, JDI, Inalux and TCL. Some said in-cell screens made by AOS Glass are also circulating in the market. This statement needs to be verified. The basic models circulating in the market are these currently. Among them, BOE and JDI is 6.3 inch. Using COG scheme, full HD LCD glass. With a large water drop screen style, the LCD glass of Inalux is relatively old. Using 6.3 inch COG scheme HD LCD glass, with a large water drop screen style, the LCD glass of TCL is 6.33 inch. Using COG scheme with small water drop screen style, among these in cell screen, the window of TCLs is more closer to the original screen, and the price will be higher. These in cell LCD glass circulated well in the market. Everyone can buy them in the market. Besides Nova 5 slash Nova 5 Pro, there are many other models that can also make goods with these glasses. Among them, some use high gamut slash BIF to make screens. Some use common backlight and cover plate without tempering to make screen. These in-cell screens, there are various kinds circulating in the market, including all quality types. There are also 3D cover plate ultra thin assemblies. Made by optimizing the radiant of the cover plate. The so called 3D cover plate is to add a little R catch to the edge of the cover plate to make the thermal bending degree and tempering degree of the cover plate edge slightly better, and then thinning the thickness with ultra thin OCA and thinning light guide plate. This approach does not play a big role in improving the overall quality of the screen. Chinotech believes that it is more a gimmick. The 3D cover plate has no cost performance ratio. If the cost can be used to Optimize the software data of the scheme and improve the quality of the backlight. It will be more conducive to the improvement of the overall quality of the screen and the money will be more valuable. So, what is the price trend of these screens in the future? These two models of this year are shortage of materials for the original refurbished screen and the production capacity of OLED glass is relatively tight. Chinotech predicts that the prices of original screens and OLED screens will generally stabilize this year. What about in-cell screen? The sharp plunge in prices last year and the first half of this year. It is about to stop. In the short term, prices will be relatively stable. This is the market situations of Huawei Nova 5 slash Nova 5 Pro in this video. If you like our market situation analysis, don't forget to click like and subscribe.